This video deals with the salient features of coronary anatomy. The coronary arteries are the very first branches of the aorta. The two major branches, the left and the right coronary arteries, arise from the coronary ostia which are present in the aortic sinus of Valsalva, just distal to the aortic valves. Their vital arteries, since they supply the contracting myocardial cell mass and the conducting system of the human heart directly. The heart therefore auto perfuses itself, that is, it develops sufficient perfusion pressure for the adequate flow during each cardiac cycle and thus regulates its own blood flow. When the cardiac pumping ability is decreased such as in cardiac failure or cardiogenic shock, inadequate blood flow to the working myocardium results in further decreasing pumping ability and a vicious cycle of deterioration begins. In the distribution of the two main coronary arteries to the heart, species variation is seen. In 90% of the humans, the right coronary artery is dominant. This implies that this artery is large and runs between the right atrium and the right ventricle in the coronary sulcus, supplying branches to both these chambers. Then it turns to the posterior aspect of the heart, running down to the apex as posterior descending branch and supplies blood to the inferior wall of the left ventricle and the AV node. The left coronary artery begins as a short main branch and then divides into left anterior descending artery and the left circumflex artery. The left anterior descending artery supplies interventricular septum and the anterior surface of the left ventricle and left circumflex artery supplies lateral aspect and smaller portion of the inferior surface of the left ventricle. In 10% of the individual, the left coronary artery is dominant, being a large vessel and its circumflex branch supplying the major portions of the inferior surface of the left ventricle instead of the right coronary artery. The posterior descending branch in this case also ends up arising from the dominant left coronary. So in this case, the right coronary artery supplies only the right atrium and the right ventricle. The main arteries lie on the surface and branch as epicardial arteries, while very small branches penetrate the muscle mass perpendicular to the surface as intramural arteries. The capillary density is high and is more than that in skeletal muscles. This implies that the capillaries are in great proximity to the muscle fibers and to the mitochondria which in effect reduces the diffusion distance for oxygen. There are two systems of veins, superficial and deep. The superficial system drains mainly the left ventricle and ends in the coronary sinus and the anterior cardiac vein which in turn drain to the right atrium. The deep system drains all the chambers of the heart. They open up directly into the cardiac chambers, mainly to the right atrium and right ventricle at multiple sites via three sets of vessels, arteriosinusoidal, arteriolumenal and thebesian veins. Coronary arteries are functional end arteries with minute collaterals being non-functional. However, when coronary occlusion occurs, collateral channels enlarge and provide direct anastomosis between the adjacent arteries.